There were ceremonies of a more somber kind today as hundreds gathered to mark Holocaust Memorial Day. Tracy Tong has the story of a survivor who's still haunted by what she endured in a concentration camp. The Holocaust was 70 years ago. But the numbers and the sheer magnitude of what was done in that time still outpasses all the other atrocities that have happened since. A somber day of remembrance for the six million Jews killed during the Holocaust. Were to be taken, murdered, and go up in smoke. Those who survived the horrors remember it like yesterday. Many times the Germans came in, beat us up, took some people with them. We didn't know where they were going. Franca Kahn was 16 when she was taken to a concentration camp. Her family and the young man she would marry survived. We are survivors. We didn't survive our pain. The color yellow has a special meaning to many today. Where many Holocaust survivors were once designated by a yellow star, this yellow rose is now a symbol of remembrance, peace and harmony. <laughs> All of my grandparents were Holocaust survivors, two of um, whom was, are buried here. It's an emotional history lesson for the younger ones, who are grateful for the miracles that saved their relatives from genocide. To think about it and to think about how we wouldn't be here and our cousins wouldn't be here, it's, it's crazy. How it changes their view, their parents' view, and how they are going to try to be persons without hate and don't stay silent when they are hearing discrimination or injustice, wherever that happens. Amidst the memories of pain and suffering, these survivors are still spreading a strong message of love and equality. We made it. We made it. We are in a beautiful country and we appreciate it. According to the Jewish calendar, Yom HaShoah begins tonight and goes until tomorrow evening. But the International Holocaust Remembrance Day is on January 27th. At the Bathurst Lawn Memorial Cemetery, I'm Tracy Tong, City News.